I'm Christian Lamichka and today I present you Brian White. Brian, welcome. Thank you very much. Always good to talk to you. Brian, since the last time we met each other, since a lot of stuff happens to you, so can you tell us a little bit about it? Oh, I've been so busy, Christian. I, I've, I'm, I've been traveling the world. I've been I'm doing a lot of dates. I've been um, all over the place. Um, just performing and promoting my new CD called Dust Bowl Dreams and um, I also am a songwriter so I'm very active you know writing songs when I'm home uh, and uh, on top of all of that I'm a dad so I'm you know I'm playing the role of dad when I get home as well and I also own a studio so I'm you know sort of juggling all all of those things together so I'm I, I never have a dull moment I'm pretty busy all the time so so let's talk about the new single. Um, what's the story behind it and how did you find the title for it? Uh, which song are you talking about? I'm not sure exactly. The current which. single. Oh, the current single. Um, you know, um, the single that we released recently was a song called, um, it was called The Little Things. And um, we uh, had a top 40 record with that. And it was a song about my, my wife. I wrote a song about my wife. and. Um, it's one of those songs that just, uh, I think it just sort, sort of brings light to the, the small things in our life that we can sometimes overlook, you know, and, and um, it was just a really emotional song that I wrote around the time that, that we found out we were going to be parents, you know, and, and so um, I'm not real sure exactly right now what the next single is going to be, so. Well, <clears throat> you can pick one for me. I can, oh, okay, that's a good thing, <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, by the way, um, might be the last time we met each other was four years ago. Mm -hmm. So since that time, a lot of things went around Nashville. Mm -hmm. So what's the best thing you think it was? Uh, in, in terms of the music industry? Yes. Um, well, I think things have changed significantly and are continuing to change. Um, I, 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 if I can say this is a good thing, um, the fact that labels are sort of going away, at least the old model that we were used to, it has leveled the playing field in terms of how we all as artists make music. And, and um, it's sort of uh, to each his own. You know, we're, we're all sort of doing our own thing, which is a good thing in a lot of ways. Um, uh, probably a lot harder work, you know, because we're manning our own ships these days. But uh, I, I would say it's a good time for for music because the the uh, it's kind of new frontier right now, and we're all sort of waiting to see what happens next, you know. Which song you wish you would record it, and why? Wow, that's a tough one. Um, man, I would pro maybe say. Uh, uh, Grown Men Don't Cry, I love that. It's a Tim McGraw song. That's one of my favorite songs. I, I wish I'd have recorded that one. That was, I, I love that song. Um, there's so many of them, Christian. Uh, um, um, maybe, uh, let's see, a Ronnie Millsap song, uh, uh, No Getting Over You. Uh, uh, I love that song. Um, I believe in you, Don Williams. I mean, there's there's a ton of them. Yeah. If I sat here long enough, I could probably think of, of 50 songs, you know. So those well, are just a few. Well, let's see if the next question is easier to answer. By all the songs you wrote, which is your personal favorite? And please don't say the last one I wrote. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's always hard. You, you, you're you always pretty partial to what you just wrote. but. Um, I'd say out of all the things I've written, the most personal and and, and uh, definitely probably my favorite is, is Dust Bowl Dreams. It's the title track of my latest CD. And it's just about uh, me being an Oklahoman and, and where I'm from. And, and that's what that's what people in country music do is they write about home, you know, and that's, that's about my home. So that's probably my favorite song I've ever written. You wrote many songs by yourself, but also co-written a lot of songs. Mm -hmm. um, by these co-writing sessions, I believe there are a couple of good stories how songs come together. Can you share one up with us? Yeah, um, actually, uh, Dust Bowl Dreams in particular, uh, I co-wrote with Alan Shamblin. And Alan, if you don't know who Alan is, 
Alan has written songs like uh, I Can't Make You Love Me for, for Bonnie Raitt, um, Don't Laugh at Me for Mark Wills, uh, um, The House That Built Me for uh, Miranda Lambert. Uh, he wrote all those songs. And the first two times that we got together, we didn't write anything. We sat around and talked about life and, and all the things, that, all the struggles and, and the joys that come with it. And the third time we hooked up, we uh, we were just having a really good morning discussing life, and you know we always talk, and that's what I love about songwriters uh, is a lot of a lot of times you'll sit around and just talk about life, and usually a song will pop out of that, and that's what happened on the third time that we we wrote. Um, I was kind of having a tough time during that time, and I was sort of you know sort of crying the blues to Alan a little bit, and and. Uh, he just sort of pulled out this story out of me uh, and and started reminding me who I was and where I'm from and and we started writing this song and lo and behold Dust Bowl Dreams just sort of came out of us and and uh, it's it's uh, it was just a great every every time I spent time with uh, Alan it was it was time well spent so Brian where can fans find more information about you Uh, the best place to find out anything about me is uh, just to go to the classifieds. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's just go. It's, uh, just go to brianwhite.com, uh, and that's Brian with a Y. And uh, you can you can navigate to Twitter and my Facebook page, and and you can find all my product and CDs and everything through brianwhite.com. Thanks for the interview. Anytime, anytime.